Hi, everybody. We're here for our first lesson on stress management. Today, you will learn about what stress is and how you can de-stress during these difficult times. You will have three presenters today, Mrs. Zakowitz, Mrs. Labar, and me, Mrs. Yanoff. So I'm Mrs. Yanoff, and I'm the school counselor at the Alpine School. A little bit about me is I have two dogs, Leia and Chewy, and I have two kids, Bryce and Addison. Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Zakowitz and I am the school counselor at Mohawk Avenue School. I have two children, Avery and Josh, and that's my husband, Mr. Zakowitz, and that's our dog, Callie. Hello everyone, Mrs. Labar here. I'm the school counselor at Helen Morgan School. I have two cats named Colin and Daisy. I enjoy spending time at the beach with my husband and my mom. So let's take a moment here, and I'd like you all to think about what stress is. So if you don't mind, if you could tell us what you think stress is by either saying it out loud or saying it in your head. Go ahead. What does stress mean to you? So stress could be a feeling of, let's say, anger. Maybe you're angry that you have to stop playing that video game in order to do, go do schoolwork. Or maybe you're angry that you can't see your friends right now. Have you ever felt angry before? I know I have. I want you guys to think now of a specific time when you have felt angry. Go ahead and say it out loud or say it to yourself. Stress could also be a feeling of frustration. Maybe it's you're frustrated that the internet is glitching in and out. Or maybe you're frustrated that you have to share the tablet with your brother or sister. Have you guys ever felt frustrated before? So now again, think of a time when you have felt frustrated. Say it out loud or say it to yourself. Great. Thank you so much for sharing. Another feeling stress could be is being annoyed. Maybe you're annoyed that you have to attend another Google Meet this week. Or maybe you're annoyed about someone in your family right now that they got to choose the game and you couldn't. Have you guys ever felt annoyed before? Go ahead and share a specific time when you felt annoyed. Great, thank you so much for sharing those three feelings. These three feelings that we just talked about can cause stress. So you've just learned that stress can be feelings of anger, frustration, and being annoyed. There are so many things that can cause you stress. Some other things that can cause you stress are fights with your siblings or friends, schoolwork, maybe sports, or other activities like dance and gymnastics. So how does your body react to stress and how do you know you're feeling stressed? Since we're all different, the ways that we feel stressed are going to be different too but your body's going to give you some signs to let you know you're feeling that way. For example, your body might be really tight. Maybe your heart starts pounding. You may have a stomach ache or a headache, or maybe you can't sleep at night. These are all clues from your body telling you that you are feeling stressed. It's really important to pay attention to these signs. It's normal to feel stress, but you want to know when you're feeling stressed so you can figure out what to do. If you are feeling stressed, what are some things that you can do to feel better? You just heard about all the ways your body feels when it is stressed out. It is important that you practice ways to help your mind and your body calm down when you begin to feel this way. Some calming down techniques when you feel stressed might include 
deep breathing, counting, thinking of a happy, positive thought, journaling, exercising, or talking to someone. Think about hot cookies coming out of the oven. You can't eat them right away. They need to cool down first. Think about what calming down strategies you can use. This is square breathing. I'm going to focus on this one right now. Sit in your comfy spot, close your eyes, put your hands on your tummy and your chest, and let's start right here on the lower left corner. Everyone, breathe in for four seconds. Trace the square. Breathe out for four seconds. Breathe in for four seconds. Breathe out for four seconds. You can repeat that three times. There's also a YouTube video that you can click to watch later after we're done with this presentation. The next breathing technique I wanna show you is called lazy eight breathing. Good stress can help you get things done, like studying for a test or practicing for a concert. It's natural to feel nervous before anything big, but you can't let fear stop you from doing things. Before any event, you should practice breathing techniques to remain calm. It can help reduce anxiety, promote happiness, ignite peaceful feelings, reduce tension, and even improve your concentration. Take a look at this lazy eight on the top of your screen. Let's practice this breathing technique together. Everyone, finger in the middle. Take a nice deep breath in and trace it around. And now breathe out. Wow, that makes me feel so much better. Okay, now this one is space breathing for meditation. There's so many calming down strategies that you can use next time you feel stressed out. Here's a video that you can click later on when we're finished with this presentation. Thank you so much, Mrs. Labar. I feel really refreshed after breathing um, and taking those moments there. Another strategy to help you manage your stress and calm yourself down can be to find that comfortable and calming place you heard. It actually reminds me of that post we did a couple of weeks ago where some of you shared your comfy and cozy spot. Your comfortable and calm place can be a place that is quiet with soothing sounds and objects around you that make you feel safe and comfortable. Maybe you're, it's your bed listening to music. Maybe it's outside sitting on the porch or sitting on the driveway, just watching the scene around you. Or maybe it's curled up in your favorite blanket with your pet sitting next to you. Can you think of your comfortable and calm place? Remember, this is one strategy that might help you control and manage your stress by visiting that comfortable and calm place. Another calming strategy that may be useful if you are getting really angry, frustrated, or annoyed can be counting. When stress increases, you aren't necessarily thinking clearly. And because you're not thinking clearly, because you have those strong feelings, it may cause you to act inappropriate and not make good decisions. Or maybe it causes you to freeze up and not act at all. Counting helps distract you from what it is that's causing you the stress. And it helps you focus on something that's simple, which will ground you and be able to refocus on what it is you need to do in that moment. So let's try this strategy together. We are going to count backwards from five. You are going to count with me slow, steady, and in control. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Awesome job. 
Counting could also go counting upwards instead of backwards. Or you can count back from a larger number like 20 or 30 or count up to a larger number like 30 or 75 or even 100. Remember what Mrs. Yanoff had said to us. We are all different, so our calming strategies might be slightly different. Maybe you need to count higher or you don't need to count backwards so far. So counting back from five is just enough. So another great way to de-stress is to exercise. I love exercising and that really helps calm me down. When you exercise, your mood feels better and you just feel better in general. So some ways you can exercise at home are going for a walk. I try to go for a walk every day. Doing yoga. Practicing a sport that you play. Maybe creating your own mini workout. Or just going outside and running around. I have attached a link here for some great videos on how to do yoga that maybe you want to try. It's Cosmic Kits. It'll be really great. I love it. Happy positive thoughts. When you're feeling stressed or nervous about something, it helps to take a moment to clear your head and replace those worrisome thoughts with happy, positive ones. Thinking about a calming thought and visualizing a serene place can really help. It's so important to try to find that peace within you. Calming, happy, positive thoughts can also help you slow down, let go, and discover your inner joy. You can do this while you're sitting in your comfy spot while practicing your breathing. My happy thought is sitting at the beach with my family, watching the palm trees sway, listening to the waves crash, and the birds chirping above me. Take a moment to visualize your relaxing scene. Wow, that really does work, Mrs. Labar. I was thinking of being out on the lake, hearing the waves crash against the boat, and being with my family and friends. That's a great one. I have another great stress reliever, and this is journaling. It's a great way to write down and explore your feelings and thoughts. It can be a great stress reliever when you're focusing on what you're grateful for, too. You don't have to journal every day but a few times a week can be very beneficial for emotional release. It can clear your mind by getting rid of negative thoughts and help with problem solving. Not only can it help you regain control of your emotions, it can boost your memory and inspire creativity. Another great way is talking to someone. Don't keep your problems to yourself. Talking to someone you can trust about something that is upsetting you can help you with sorting out the problem, seeing the situation more clearly, looking at the problem in a new or different way, releasing built up tension. This can help you regain new insight into the situation that actually caused the problem to begin with. It can also help you find out that you're not alone. You may find that other people share the same feelings. It can also help you identify solutions you had not thought of before. Think about somebody in your life who you can talk to. It might be a parent, a sibling, a teacher, a counselor, or a friend. It's a lot easier to avoid stress if you take care of yourself. You can do this by balancing your life by making good decisions about how to spend your time during the day. One of those good decisions could be making sure you get enough sleep. This will help control your emotions if you are well rested. So let me ask you guys, how many hours of sleep do you think that you should have each night? Go ahead, say your answer out loud. Let's take a look. 
kids should be getting 10 to 11 hours of sleep each night. Maybe some of you are saying, wow, right now, or maybe some of you are pretty close to that. If not, go back and have that conversation with your parents, um, your babysitters, your brothers and sisters, even your friends, and maybe track your hours tonight. See if you are getting close to 10 or 11 hours. Another good decision that you can make in order to help manage control your emotions would be taking breaks in between work and playing. So when you're doing homework, make sure that you take breaks, like getting a snack or walking into another room or going for a walk. That also helps with that strategy of exercising, Mrs. Yonoff said. You could even take breaks when you're playing. Instead of getting mad at your brother or sister or your friends, why don't you decide to pick out a game together? Break it up so it's fair. Or you can use a timer in order to keep track to make sure that each of you are getting a chance to pick out what it is that you want to play. When you've been playing for a while or even doing your work for a while, make sure that you do take a break. That way that you're managing your emotions and stress. You're not just getting right back from your soccer practice and going right into homework. Take a little quick break. Go in your comfy place. Do an exercise workout or journal a little bit. Okay, everybody. Now we're going to play a little fun game. We're going to do a quick quiz to see how much you've learned. True or false? Only adults feel stress. The answer is false. You're right. Everybody feels stress. Next question. True or false? Being too busy can make you feel stressed. True. Breaking toys can make you feel better if you're stressed. True or false? False. Remember, you want to control and manage those feelings before you make a decision. Okay, true or false? Playing outside, playing a sport, or doing exercise can help you feel better when you're feeling stressed. The answer is true. Definitely get outside and try to get some exercise. Okay, everyone, are you ready for this one? True or false? When you're feeling stressed, it can help talk about it with a parent, a teacher, a counselor, or a friend. Well, we hope you really enjoyed this lesson on stress management, and hopefully you found some ways that you can de-stress during this difficult time. Remember, we're all different, so whatever you use will work for you and maybe not everyone else. Stay tuned for our next lesson coming out soon. And in the meantime, please check out our YouTube channel, our Google Classroom, and you can always email us if you need us. Remember, boys and girls, if you are having a really difficult time and you're having negative thoughts, please tell a trusted adult right away. Thank you so much, everyone, for listening, and we hope you have a fantastic rest of the week. Bye now.